Around 150 years ago, Belfast in Northern Ireland had become a leading player in the Industrial Revolution. New wealth and European investment had come to Belfast, and this bank, built in 1857, was a sign of the times. Today, it's a hotel that sells the most expensive cocktail in the world. But come inside, you can still see the grandeur of the past. It was behind impressively thick vault doors like these that the wealthy industrialists and innovators of Northern Ireland banked their fortunes. It was here that they dreamed of building 20th century ships for a 20th century world. But Belfast's success in shipbuilding didn't happen overnight. More than 15,000 men worked here in the Harland and Wolfe shipyards, creating a highly skilled workforce. By 1911, Harland and Wolfe, makers of the Titanic, had become the largest shipbuilders in the world. Olympic, seen here, was launched in October 1910, and on May 31, 1911, her sister ship, Titanic, was launched from slipway number three. These audaciously designed ships dwarfed the men who made them. In the Industrial Revolution, steam took center stage. It was here at Titanic's dry dock and pump house that one of the marvels of Edwardian engineering took place. It was pressurized steam that powered the opening and closing of the gates of the dry dock and pressurized steam powered the pumps to fill and drain this dry dock with enough water to support the great ships. All this is preserved today. Greater engineering achievements were yet to come. Many of the inventions that came from the north of Ireland are showcased here at the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum. Harry Ferguson manufactured these literally groundbreaking iconic tractors. Its system of design still influences every tractor made in the world today. In 1940, Sir James Martin invented one of the first versions of the modern ejector seat. To date, it has saved over 7,000 pilots' lives. And this is the DeLorean car. Now, while the original idea might not have hailed from these shores, the craftsmanship and sheer determination to build this car of the future certainly did. But our jewel in the crown will always be Titanic. And this is the actual train that took the men who built the Titanic to the shipyard every working day. Back where it all started, in the Belfast Docklands today, is a project of massive regeneration. Titanic Quarter is transforming again for the 21st century. What technological advances will the next 100 years hold? I don't know, but I'm going to celebrate another century of change by sampling the most expensive cocktail in the world. How much?